So, good morning. This is entirely impromptu on my part. I was just waking up, having my morning. Well, you guys have your coffee. I have my Mountain Dew. I know it's totally unhealthy. I've got this, this scammer here pretending to be somebody. They're not. See, I'm a Star Trek fan. I don't care if I rub elbows with famous or, or, or influential people. But I saw somebody. I figured I'd say thank you and move on. And I've tried to get this person to move on. But today they reveal their secrets. They want me to invest. <laughs> in, a, in an app. Of course, everything's done by app nowadays. This is an investment app. Now, I, I don't know if I posted, published the video yet or not, but in another video I talked about a special John Stewart did on YouTube about investment, the, the stock market. He talked about apps like Robinhood and apps like this guy is trying to offer me that what they tried to do was make the, the, the stock market accessible to a broad range of people as opposed to people who have investment bankers and shit like that. But what they actually did, half the time you aren't even buying a real stock. Your money, you pay for something and your money goes into something called a dark pool. And that's just giving them something to play with. As long as they give you information saying something's happening, which is simple to do on an app for programmers, you don't really know it's a scam. You don't really know that it's you, you're only quasi investing. You are giving your money to invest, and there are some structures in place where they kind of have to use it for certain purposes. But really, I mean, these are the things that might take down my pension fund. So, this is the world we've built. We've built a world where everybody's connected and everybody wants to be in the top as far as earning or see we call it trickle down like the the most inventive and creative and hard working will get to the top and they'll trickle down the money to employees and investment and stuff like that but it didn't really work out that way did it i mean here we are what decades into it 30 years and how are you happy with the results I tried to talk, talk about it like this on another video. We've got ambitious people who can come with a come up with a clever lie or enough to reel you in, and their 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 goal to get to the top is to find as many fracture points in society as they can, as many vulnerabilities as they can. I don't know, have you talked to a celebrity on Facebook at any time and maybe they started to get you to try to invest? This guy even asked me if I wanted to invest in Bitcoin. My response to that seems to have ended the conversation. Well, kind of pushed it too far. It was a bit ridiculous. Anyway, so to get to that top where they're making as much money as they can, they find as many fracture points as they can and they apply pressure. Whether that pressure is sweet talk, or clever wording to try and get something, or just using your belief, your ability to project into something. Like, if it's somebody famous that has actually affected your life, they allow you time to project into that persona to build trust. This is the world we built. There are millions of people out there just looking for as many vulnerabilities as they can and pressing down until it breaks. Our leaders talk about, like uh, Biden talked about forgiving student loans and half the country just erupted. I watched, I hate politics. When, when people ask me, why don't I talk about politics? I talk about, the reason is, If you go fishing, 
and you want the biggest fish there is, you can get yourself a bottom feeding fish anywhere. Just go find yourself a drainage pipe and let it sink to the bottom of the water and pff, you could catch yourself a big fish. But there are better fish to fry than fucking politics. This over bloated piece of shit. See why I shouldn't talk politics? But they talk about trying to relieve some of these scams. You know how many people got scammed by fake colleges? Or colleges that are just real enough to keep some of them, some of the money, like University of Phoenix is the biggest one I can think of, and they've been hit by lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Their primary goal is just to hang on to whatever pennies they could get and keep going so that there's more pennies to hang on to. Half of us just roared and shouted that we should pay our bills. I paid my bills. Why should I pay their bills? The bills you're paying are poverty. The thing that's dragging down our societies is inequality. If you want to attack and have a more prosperous life, have more prosperous neighbors, of course you have to kind of first care about your neighbors, then you need to eliminate these systemic problems. And student debt has been a problem. A lot of people in trouble with student debt have fake degrees, bad degrees, were scammed. <sighs> Trump University, anyone? But this is the world we built. This is the world we back. So this must be, in some way, the world we want. Maybe you are thinking to yourself that I could find some vulnerabilities and apply some pressure. If you are, I just want you to understand that those vulnerabilities are also your, for society, the best places to inspire growth. But for the individual who is greedy, the best place to break something. But you'll get what you want. And you'll be down the road or you'll be in prison. So why should you think about the consequences of your actions? Look, I started this stupid thing. On, I was talking to a scammer and I was trying to lead him on. He offered Bitcoin. I said, whoa, dead horse. And that was about it. So I didn't get quite the play I was hoping for out of this guy. But, oh well, other people are scam, right? Look, if you think you're talking to a celebrity and they're talking about how they invest their money, odds are you're not talking to a celebrity. They don't interact with people like us. Nor should they. They're on, like, that's a different fucking world that I want nothing to do with. You guys, well, keep doing your good work. Watch out for scammers. We built this world, we voted for this world, we allow this world, we must want this world. If you want this world, fucking try to avoid the scammers. Good luck. I got a brand new phone number about a year and a half ago. And for six months, no matter what I did, what lists I put my name on, what lists I put the number on, didn't matter. This phone would ring every 30 seconds continuously. Whoever had... The number before had signed up for every conservative, insane list there is. I couldn't get it off there. I still get texts about Trump. Me! Just be careful out there. Odds are you're not talking to the person you think you're talking to. Odds are you're not talking to, if you're a lonely guy, you're not talking to a pretty girl who really cares about you. If you're a lonely girl, you're not talking to a, whatever, you get the point. Odds are that fucker in your inbox is not a fucking celebrity. I can't imagine what it's like for the celebrities. Like, if I was a, ugh, but if it ever happened and suddenly people were trying to scam other people using my name and face... Let me just put it on the record. If that ever happens, and you are that person, fuck you.
This is just a bit rude. A little bit hot blooded, I guess. <laughs> this is what happens when you give me a vacation and let me talk. Anyways, we have built a world that incentivizes the lowest of the low with a clever mind. If they are clever enough and inscrupulous enough to just do damage, they will try their best to do damage. Don't let them. Don't let them. It's the best I can say.